And meteorologist Josh Worcester now taking a look at our storm team forecast. Actually pretty quiet. Yeah, good news. Anyone that's heading out doing that last minute shopping, weather is not going to slow you down. It's actually pretty mild out there. Just a little cloudy and gray. That's kind of the trade off we've been seeing so far uh, this year. And that's really the trend of winter. Uh, you know that cloudy skies generally a little bit warmer than those uh, bright sunny cold days. Now most of us are dry. There is a little snow shower working through Sheboygan right now. That'll be quick to pass just leaving basically a coating of snow if that. Now if you're hitting the road for some early holiday travel this afternoon, a few snow showers across northern Wisconsin, northern Minnesota, not too much to slow you down. And if you're heading south all the way to St. Louis, you're in good conditions there. The only issue would be south of St. Louis, but that's pushing it, I think, for, for driving in one day. And if you're hitting the skies, uh, Mitchell International, we had some flurries early this morning, but for the most part, we're looking at dry travel conditions. No delays expected there, at least in the short term. And really, I don't think at all today, weather shouldn't slow you down. And really, that's the same story across the nation. We're good to go from San Francisco, Atlanta, LA and Boston uh, delays very low at this point and temperatures for us closer to home. Like we mentioned, very mild. All of us at or above freezing. We're right there in Waukesha, West Bend and Fond du Lac and along the lakefront into the middle 30s. So if there was a few slick spots this morning from some of that refreeze on the rain that we saw last night, that's since melted and the roads clearing off. Now the good news, we stay mild for the overnight. Uh, the bad news, clouds. That's all we get all the way into tomorrow morning, but temperatures you notice all the way to midnight. We're staying into the 30s, so some good news there if you have some uh, outdoor plans or if you're heading out shopping later on tonight. Behind this, enjoy the mild air while it's here. Yeah, it's cloudy. It looks gloomy. By the time we get some sunshine back, this air mass, that cold pocket of air will be settling in. So here's Monday afternoon, Monday evening. Notice those white shades beginning to push down, especially into northern Wisconsin, northern Minnesota. Our coldest day will be on Tuesday. Here's Tuesday afternoon as that air mass continues to slide into the area. It'll be cold. If you're traveling up to northern Wisconsin, I think on Tuesday, high temperatures have the chance to be sub zero in some locations. So again, enjoy the mild air while we have it. 37 degrees, a high temperature for today. Cloudy skies, overall very mild. Northwest winds about five to 10 miles per hour. Tonight we keep the clouds around, but that'll keep things mild. 23 degrees, mainly cloudy skies. Winds not too bad either, only about five miles an hour. So again, if you're heading out shopping or any other plans that you have for today, you'll be good to go. And then we slowly step these temperatures down heading into the weekend. The good news, I guess, it's not going to be a big slap in the face with this cold air. We'll be stepping down gradually. 27 on Saturday, partly cloudy skies. So it'd be nice to see some of that sunshine once again, northwest winds could be a little breezy at times through the day on Saturday uh, by Sunday, a little bit cooler yet 24 degrees. We could see a dusting of snow on Sunday. Just looking at a couple of flurries, a light snow shower. So if you're looking for that white Christmas, fortunately, I don't think this is your year because we need officially one inch for that to happen. And I don't think what we get on Sunday will be one inch of snow, generally just a coating or a dusting at best. So we went through the weekend, those flurries possible on Sunday. Uh, Monday, that's Christmas, 18 degrees. If you're wondering if we hit 18, that would be the coldest Christmas since 2004. 12 degrees on Tuesday and then a slow warm up as we head back into the end of the week, 23 degrees by Thursday. So like we mentioned, enjoy the weekend, at least the first part of it, because by Christmas, looking to be a little chilly at least.